why won't this outlet work? And why won't this outlet work? And why won't this outlet work? I checked all the breakers. Maybe I'm going crazy. Well, I'm not really qualified to answer that. You might be, but it's not because of your outlets. I'm Jay with Find You Crazy. We're a family of nine who travel full-time in an RV as we go around the country to see every national park. But today is another maintenance and upgrade video, and we're going to talk about why those outlets don't work and what you can do to fix them. Bathroom. I'm in the bathroom because the reason all of those outlets aren't working is right here in the bathroom. That's right. All of those other outlets aren't working because of this one outlet right there. That's right. This one GFCI outlet is connected to all of those other outlets. And all you have to do to fix all those other outlets is to hit the reset button right here on this outlet. But mine's not resetting, so we're going to fix that. But before we change that out, let's talk about what it is, why it is, and why it's not working. So all of those outlets are connected to this one outlet because they are all in places where water could possibly come in contact with the outlet. And so to protect you, those outlets have to be have a secondary protection on That secondary protection is called GFCI, or Ground Fault Circuit Interrupt. You have these mostly in uh, any place where there's water. So bathrooms, kitchens, outdoor, crawl spaces, garages, those kind of places. And they're there to protect you. So you go, well, wait a minute, I've already got um, fuses and circuit breakers. Why do I need these? So the fuses and circuit breakers are there to protect the electrical system of your house. In case something surges back through, they'll flip and protect the house electronics, basically the electrical system of the house. The GFCI, or a lot of people just call them GFI, um, are there to protect you as a person. Um, so if you are, let's pretend, uh, that you're blow drying your hair and you accidentally drop the hair dryer in the sink, obviously water and electricity don't mix, especially if you're in that mix as well. And so it doesn't take but just a second for you to be dead. But the great news is ground fault interrupts actually work faster than your heartbeat. And so it's something like one thirteenth of a second they can sense that issue and they trip and cut off all the electricity. Um, and so they're there to protect you. Um, and that's why they're all in your houses. So you want that protection in your camper as well. But for some reason, I guess it was a cost thing. Instead of putting in my rig um, four different outlets, GFI outlets, they just put one in and tied them all back in to that one. And so all of those others, even though they don't have the little test and reset button on them, they're all connected to this one here in the bathroom. And so if any one of those flips, they all um, are going to not work. Uh, and they're pretty sensitive. Obviously, that's a good thing to protect you. Uh, but that means that it doesn't take dropping a hairdryer in a sink full of water um, to trip them. Um, it's just too much load. There's lots of different things that can trip them. Um, and so all you have to do is go back in and the little red light indicator will come on and you just go back in and press that reset button. You're actually supposed to test them about once a month. You just go and hit that test button and it'll pop out and that red light will come on. Uh, and then, you know, you're good. You hit that reset button. And you're good to go. They do, however, sometimes just fail. They stop working. And that's what's happened here with the one in the bathroom. And so we're actually going to change that out for another um, GC, GFCI outlet uh, today. And we'll show you how to do that. The good news is this is not a really difficult fix. In fact, you really only need one thing and one tool. Um, you need a new outlet. Um, and these are pretty easy. Um, I mean, they're super easy to find. Um, they're like $15 to $25. Um, of course, I always go to my favorite DLI plus one, which is Home Depot. Pick mine up there. I think mine was um, like $16, $17. Um, 
and I did get the one that is slim, um, which means that you kind of get a little more room in the back. Sometimes they can get a little tight uh, with all the wires back there. Um, so that's just one thing I always like to get. Uh, and then all you really need is a screwdriver uh, to be able to take the plate off the front and then take the screws off the side. So the first thing you need to do is turn off the power to uh, that circuit so that you don't get yourself electrocuted. So just run over to your breaker box, figure out which one that is, and flip it off. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is just take these two screws out so that you can take the plate off. Now we're going to take these two screws out so that we can get the outlet out. So when you take the screws out, um, especially if you've got a model just like this, make sure you save these longer screws um, because the ones that come with it are shorter and you need this extra length because of this housing that is around it. Uh, so make sure you save these and then you can just take these off that little white thing. It's just like a little piece of paper that holds it. Um, so you can pull that off the back um, and then you're ready to put your other ones. Um, in there uh, on both sides. All right, so now you're ready to switch out the outlets. So all you're gonna do now is loosen the two screws on each side of the old outlet, pull all the wires out, making sure you remember which ones go where, uh, and then you're gonna put those wires back in the same place on the new outlet and screw them all in. Thing to remember is always black goes to the brass side, the brass screws, and the white goes to the silver screws. Also, if this is an outlet that is just by itself, then you're just going to have two wires and they're going to go on the line side, uh, which it'll say that on the back of uh, the new outlet. If you have multiple outlets connected to it like we do here, then you're going to have extra wires on the load side that go out and you just want to make sure that you have those in the right place. Uh, most of the time, the outlets are the same. Sometimes they switch them from top to bottom. You might have to put the top wires on the bottom and the bottom wires on the top. And then you're ready to go. There's also um, one extra wire, um, that exposed copper wire that's not um, shielded and that is your ground wire. Uh, and it's gonna be down on the bottom and it's gonna go on that green screw at the bottom. Because I switched from the slim, from the longer one to the slim one, um, I have really long leads on the wires, uh, and so they're too long. I don't really want a lot of the copper wire exposed once I put it all the way in there, and so I'm just going to snip off uh, a little bit of the ends of each one of these.
right, so now you're just ready to put it all back in there, kind of squish all the wires back up in there. Um, when you squish them back up in, you want to make sure that you pull it back out one last time to double check to make sure that you didn't um, break any connections, that everything's staying pretty stable. And then you're ready to put these super long screws back in there. So that's it. Wasn't that easy. Um, took, you know, maybe five minutes. Uh, you could probably do a lot faster if you weren't trying to lean around a camera, but hey, um, just remember anytime you're wiring, make sure that those black wires always go to the brass screws and the white wires always go to the silver screws uh, and then the ground, the exposed one without any shielding goes to the green screw on the bottom uh, and you're good to go. Um, some of the outlets do switch the line in and the pass through and so you may have to if everything doesn't work right the first time you may have to switch top to bottom never switch the black to the silver so don't ever switch left to right but top to bottom uh, you may have to switch uh, and then you should be good to go uh, when it comes on uh, just hit that test button reset it one time and then all of your outlets not just this one but all of your tied in um, gfci outlets should all be working so there you go that's another easy fix i uh, hope this helps you be sure to follow all of our crazy family's adventures as we travel around this country. You can do that uh, by hitting that subscribe button or checking out some of our other videos right over there. So until next time, go out and have some crazy fun with your crazy family. See you guys.